This is the time to rise up. It's a time to exercise our authority. And I'm telling you that now is not a time for indecision. It's not a time to stand in the middle. It is last call. Last call. I've been having visions and dreams for years about a great separation that is coming. It's happening in the spirit. And I want to share with you that prophetic revelation. Okay? It, two and a half, no, I'm sorry. Almost four years ago now. It was 2017, 2018 time frame. I had an open vision in my sleep. It was one of the most profound visions I have ever had in my life. It was a dream and it was like, it was more real than reality. And I was standing literally here in Israel, overlooking the Sea of Galilee and overlooking the mountains. And what I saw was a massive tsunami wave, massive, just rise up. And literally it rose up as the sun was setting. So I was sit, before the, the wave came, I was looking and I saw the sun and it was setting very quickly, very quickly. Now I know that this is a prophetic illustration because the sun doesn't set over the Golan Heights. It sets on the other side of, of the Galilee. Okay, but I know that I'm looking at a prophetic revelation and the Lord is speaking to me and the sun is coming down and it's coming down quickly. And as soon as the sun set behind the mountains, this massive tsunami wave came up and it was approaching at lightning speed. And what happened was once it rose up, there was hardly any time left to act. Okay, people needed to take cover because it was going to land. And so what happened, there was a moment of impact in my dream. And, and I didn't see the moment of impact because the Lord had hidden me away in like the secret place. I went into this shelter and what happened was I came out afterwards and I saw the damage and the carnage that had happened from this tsunami wave. And there were people that were homeless. Okay. There were people that were confused. There was darkness everywhere. People were in the streets. People had given over to depravity and depression. Uh, people were literally like selling their souls. I mean, you know, it, it, like all moral, you know, compass had been removed. It was terrible. It, it was very, very serious in the spirit. I saw, you know, people had turned to prostitution. I mean, it was, it was very depravity. It was just showing me that there was homelessness. There was a lot of problems that came from this, okay? And I'm just saying, I'm not saying this to, to cause fear. You don't need to be afraid. God did not give you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. He showed me this vision to prepare us as a prophetic warning to take shelter in the secret place because Psalm 91 says, those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So I'm saying to you today that it's time to come into that ark. It's time to come into the secret place, repent of your sins, call it sin, break addiction, come into agreement with the word of God, ask for forgiveness and come into that place of security. Amen. Because the Lord is sounding the alarm and he's saying, listen, there's some challenging times that are coming, but you will have victory. That's the word of the Lord that I released in May. It was called victory in perilous times. Okay. So perilous times are coming, but great victory is coming for those who abide in the secret place of the most high. Amen. So I, I will share the, the, the links to the original dream that I had and other visions that I'll share in our website. I'm going to send out a newsletter to all the people that are subscribed to our site with literally the prophetic history of these words. Okay, so if you want to read that, uh, go to our website, which is listed here, radiantisrael.com, and sign up, and I will send you an update, and you will be able to read through all those words. You can pray about it, you know, and you can decide what you want to do. Amen. But another one of these visions that I had, it happened in uh, 2020 early 2020, I think in April, around that time frame, April or March 2020. And what happened was I was on the phone with our intercessory team and we're praying. And what I, what I saw was a vision. And I literally saw like this terrain, kind of like Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada. It was that type of deserty terrain. And there were people standing all around, right? And then all of a sudden there was this massive earthquake, massive and it just shifted the ground and it like caused this massive separation in the ground like the Grand Canyon. It was huge. And then I literally saw that there were people on one side 
and then there were people on another side. And I knew that once the separation happened, that, that the people that were on one side could not get to the other side, okay? And I knew by the spirit that this was actually a judgment that came from God. I, I just felt that in my spirit, okay? And that this was a separation. Now, the word of God is filled with, with parables and, and, and prophecies and words about separation, okay? Um, in, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 34, God talks about a time of judgment where he's gonna judge the shepherds, the pastors, and those that lead the flock because they have taken advantage of the sheep. And instead of feeding the sheep, instead of taking care of the flock and, and loving them and healing their wounds, they got fat off the sheep. They just took from the sheep and they didn't do what God called them to do. And so God brings them judgment but, and he's, he literally deals with them, but in the same time, he actually takes care of the sheep and he says, I will take care of my sheep. I will heal their wounds. I will provide for them. So this is a word of great encouragement. But in Ezekiel chapter 34, what God says is that I will divide between the sheep and the sheep and between the sheep and the goats. Okay, you gotta hear me. Hear me on this. Part of God's judgment as described in the book of Ezekiel comes through division. This is a season of division. It's a season where God is pruning. He's separating the sheep and the sheep and the sheep and the goat. So he's not only separating the believers and the unbelievers. He's actually separating between the sheep. So how you live matters. Okay, how we live before God matters. How we act matters. We're in a time of great testing. Okay, what are you doing? We're all being tested. How are we gonna respond to this global demonic agenda? Are you gonna speak out against it? Are you gonna do something or are you just gonna remain silent? Are you gonna be paralyzed by fear? Or are you gonna exercise your authority and do what God says? Okay, there are all kinds of tests that are coming in your personal life. How are you treating people? How are you responding to trials? But God is literally separating right now. Okay, that's also talked about, you know, clearly in the New Testament, uh, the separation of the wheat and the tares, amen? Okay, so, so much is happening. But that vision was about a separation that's taking place, and I believe we're in that season. And I, again, I will send a prophetic update through our newsletter um, with all of these words. So all these prophetic visions and dreams that I've had over the last, say, three, four years, I believe we're beginning to see them come to pass. And so I want to share them as I, as I shared that because it's like a convergence of these words that are happening. And so we got to literally take heed. We got to take heed to what the word of God says and what the spirit of prophecy says and what the prophetic words are saying. Amen. And so I just want to encourage you that this is a time of great victory, but it's going to be very challenging. So you need to prepare yourself in the spirit and in the natural. Most importantly for you to be prepared in the spirit is to have white garments on. Hear me, hear me. Okay, I'm going to talk about preparation in the natural. That's also important. But preparation in the spirit, meaning how are you aligned with God? How is your heart with the Lord? How are you with him? Do you have sin in your life? Are there areas that you just need to repent of? Because he will heal, he'll forgive, he'll cleanse, but you gotta repent. You gotta denounce the sin. You gotta call it sin. You gotta break those ties. You gotta break agreement with darkness. You gotta break agreement with evil. Listen to me, somebody's watching this. You gotta break agreement with pornography. You gotta cut it out. You gotta declare it a sin. It's a sin. It's not okay. You gotta call it sin. You gotta break agreement with it. Some of you are participating in gossip. You're allowing somebody to, to speak badly about other people. Okay, that's sin. Okay, the Lord hates that. He hates slander. He hates sin. He hates gossip. He hates anger. He hates all these things that, that cause you to sin. Okay, anger is a natural emotion, but it says don't sin in your anger, meaning don't let anger motivate you to go out and sin. Okay, there are all of these different things. You gotta break agreement with these things. Now, Sometimes they're strongholds and they're harder to get rid of, okay? So we got to take in account to get delivered, okay? Sometimes you got to get delivered of something, okay? You're wrestling with something and you, want, you don't want to do it, but you, keep, you find yourself in a cycle, you're doing it, okay? God knows, okay? 
His grace is sufficient for you. There's no condemnation for those who are in Messiah Yeshua. So first things first, do not feel guilty, amen? Don't feel condemnation. That's from the devil, okay? Condemnation is from the enemy, okay? If you're feeling condemned, if you're feeling oppressed, that's from the enemy, amen? God did not give you a, a spirit of condemnation, okay? There's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Yeshua, okay? Amen. So first things first. Then Yeshua said some of these things only come out through fasting and through prayer, okay? So if you're addicted to pornography or if you can't stop gossiping or if you can't stop, you know, complaining or grumbling or, or being ungrateful or whatever the case may be, you got to say, you know what? I know this is wrong, but I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do this in my life because it's causing me to stay in this oppressive cycle. And I know that there's more. I know that there's freedom. There is freedom. You got to declare a fast. Amen. But there's power in the word of the Lord. There's power in the blood of Yeshua. There's healing in the name above every name. Amen. And Yeshua said some of these things only come out through fasting and prayer. Okay. So you got to declare a fast personally for your life. Amen. All right. Now in Yeshua's name. We have declared Psalm 64 over the conspiracy of the wicked. And what I believe the Lord showed me is that by coming into agreement with Psalm 64 for the conspiracy of the wicked to literally be exposed for confusion to come into their camp and for the arrows of the Lord to come and to pierce them in the spirit to take out those demonic principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of high places. When we step into that place of authority and agreement, we're agreeing with what God wants to do. And he will then bless us with what we need breakthrough in, in our own lives. Because the word of God in Matthew 6 and verse 33 says, seek first the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you. Amen. So I believe as we activate this Psalm 64 decree, as we enter in and we literally fast and pray and decree this every single day, we will see breakthrough in the spirit realm. We'll see breakthrough in the natural. We'll see breakthrough in our private lives. Amen. And that's what I want to see for my family, for your family. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen and a witness, somebody? Hallelujah. Amen.